हेलो एवरी वन लेटस कंटिन्यू विथ आर लेसन स्टोन एज स्टोन टूल्स बिफोर दैट लेटस सी टूडेज थॉट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी मोर पॉवरफुल इन लाइफ एज्युकेट युअर सेल्फ इट्स दैट सिंपल आई एम रिपीटिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी मोर पॉवरफुल इन लाइफ एज्युकेट युअर सेल्फ इट्स दैट सिंपल स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी बिगेन विद द लेसन स्टोन एज स्टोन टूल्स we have seen the factors that determine our choice of tool then we have seen the various types of tools used by primitive man but because bones and twigs decomposes we only find the stone tools hence mainly we find the sto- tools made up of stones hence it is called as stone age further we have seen that stone age again it is divided into 3 the old stone age or paleolithic middle stone age that is mesolithic and new stone age that is neolithic age so in this way it was divided into three we were dealing with first paleolithic age that means old stone age in this we have seen that homo habilis and homo erectus in old stone age used percussion method or percussion technique to make the tools percussion was beating and striking one object on the another to give the desired shape the first tool made in stone age was very crude that means rough we have seen the picture also in the previous slide video that it was cut in one side only other part was rough it was crude and it was known as choppers so it was used only to break the nuts and bones that means homo habilis and homo erectus used those stone tools called chopper only to break the nuts and bones that means now they were not able to hunt rather we have seen they were forager that means whatever was hunted by the other animal they used to depend on it they were eating the leftover flesh by other animal so these tools were used by the homo habilis and homo erectus during the paleolithic that means old stone age now let us move further he used the flakes for scraping the meat and chopping the meat and also chopping the other food stuff that was other vegetable fruits whatever he was consuming or sharpening the wooden stick now tools like hand axe and cleaver made by homo erectus are more proportionate and symmetrical than the choppers made by homo habilis so we have seen first were the homo habilis who made the who used their hand and then were the erectus so obviously it was the stage of development erectus that's why their tools were more proportionate and symmetrical a proportionate and symmetrical tool has to be mentally visualized first now obviously mentally visualized means if you want to make something now for example if i come to your class and if i give you a task if i give you a topic a specific topic that draw the picture of village now first of all before drawing you will have a mindset you will have an imaginary drawing in your mind that how you will draw so the topic is same for all the three classes of standard fifth but everyone will draw differently no two pictures will be exactly same because you will use your imagination you will think about it you will have specific ideas about the village you will draw it in your mind and then on the paper so similarly this proportionate and symmetrical tool has to be mentally visualized first so they used to visualizes mentally that means they are having this capacity to imagine and then they were making it homo erectus could mentally visualize his tool before he actually shape them so he was having a certain idea that what sort of tool i want so what i am going to use it so accordingly i want such shape it should be pointed it should be symmetrical it should be how long how i will hold it so accordingly he used to imagine and then he was making the tool out of the stone twigs and bones now students
in the picture i have shown this stone age clever now here is the word clever clever in modern times i have shown you a clever is a knife that varies in its shape but usually resembles the resembles a rectangular blade h so this is the clever of modern time which we are using and this is the clever used by stone age man so this is the clever in stone age now to obtain stone flakes he used things like antlers as hammer now hammer you know very well what are the hammers hammer manje hatoda jani apan dusra goshti var thokto so for that he was using the things like antler so these are the picture of antlers various antler antler means the horns shinga he further sharpened the edges of those flakes by scraping off smaller pieces to make scrapers with very sharp edges so he was sharpening the edges now if he want to hunt some animal it has to be pointed and to make it pointed he needs the flakes the broken pieces of the stone so that he can scrap it and sharp the edges scrap means chilna bazu cha goshti ha chilai cha so that it will be pointed here you can see hand axe how he has made it pointed so whatever shape of the stone it might be having he has scraped it ghasun ghasun itla bag kadun takla manun to asa pointed shape jhala so in this way he was scraping and sharpening the edges here also you can see the edges are so sharp isn't it now it means that homo erectus was using different tools for different task according to the demand of the task now chopper he has used to break the bones and nuts now easily you can use it this you can identify with today's what we call okli kiwa khalbatta jela manto apan kutto na tyachane te asa jadsar asto it is not sharp now hand axe you know how today's hand axe is and this is a cleaver so to cut something modern age cleaver i have shown you in the previous slide so this is a stone age cleaver so this was edge was used to cut the meat into pieces or fruits and vegetable so these were the various uses of the tools used by primitive man in paleolithic age that is old stone age so students go through page number 26 6.2 stone age stone tools from there read till according to the demand of task that means the page number 26 thank you